Okay, so on this sheet, let's take a look at three, four, five, and hopefully I can get through all three of them in this video, and then we'll do the next three. Okay, so number three says, you and your friend Doc Morton are in a pool 100 meters apart. So, you, Troc, Trocky. Um, starting from rest, so VI is zero. You begin to swim towards each other. You accelerate at a rate of 1.5 meters per second squared. Oops, Taraki's acceleration, 1.2 meters per second squared. How far has each traveled when you meet? Okay, so here you are. There's water here, I swear. Your Taraki is, you, and you're 100 meters apart. So you're going to go some distance this way, Taraki's going to go some distance this way. In the end, delta D of U plus delta D of Throck Morton needs to equal 100 meters. And so we need a delta D for U, it'll be VI delta T plus 1 half A for U delta T squared. We need a delta D for Throck Morton, VI delta T plus one half a delta t squared. The times are going to be the same. The vi's are zero, so these two terms disappear. We can't solve for delta d for either of you because we don't know the time. So just like in all the other questions, we're going to sub in to our equation that connects our delta d's. Okay, so it'll be one half a of u delta t squared plus one-half A of Throckmorton delta T squared is going to equal 100 meters. You might want to multiply the whole thing by 2, so it'll become A, the acceleration for U, T squared, plus the acceleration for Throckmorton, T squared, is equal to 200 meters. And now we use that trick we've been using a lot, pull out the T squared, a y plus a t in brackets equals 200 meters. Divide both sides by the bracket. So 200 meters divided by a y a t. So 200 meters divided by 1.5 meters per second squared plus 1.2 meters per second squared. Remember when you do this, what you're going to get is t squared, and then you need to take the square root. Um, I think after you take the square root, you get something like 8.6060666 seconds. Is that true? Oh, it doesn't ask for that, but okay. Um, the, and then the question wants to know how far has each traveled. So delta D for U is one half A Y delta T squared. So one half 1.5 meters per second squared times this 8.066 seconds squared. And you get your delta D to be, I think it's 55. 0.5 repeating meters. And then you do it for Throcky, one half a Throckmorton t squared, so one half 1.2 meters per second squared times the 8.6066 seconds squared, and you get a delta d for Throckmorton to be 44.4 repeating meters. When you add them together, you get 100 meters. It means you got it. Must have done it right. Number four. You are traveling 27 kilometers per hour, sorry, 72 kilometers per hour in your car when you pass a friend who is stopped. So you have you, you have your friend. You are traveling 72 kilometers per hour is 20 meters per second. Your friend is stopped. Um, your friend speeds up to catch up to you, accelerating at a rate, so A of your friend is 4 
meters per second squared, but to bug your friend, you also accelerate 2.2 meters per second squared. How long before your friend catches up? Okay, so you're in your car, you are traveling, you pass your friend, your friend accelerates, catches up, the delta d's are going to be the same. The time that has passed is going to be the same. So delta d of u is going to equal delta d of your friend. Delta d of u, delta d is equal to vi delta t plus one half a for u delta t squared. For your friend, vi delta t one half a friend delta t squared, but this is zero. So now we're going to set them equal because that's what this says. We're going to fill in again, just like we have before. So it'll be vi delta t plus one half u delta t squared and that will equal one half a of your friend delta t squared. Now if you take a look at this you'll see there's a delta t in every term. So you could divide each term by delta t. And so you'll be left with vi plus one half a for u delta t equals one half a of your friend delta t. You want to solve for delta t so take your the a y one half a y delta t squared for your delta t over so it'll equal one half a of your friend delta t minus one half a of u delta t you might want to multiply everything by two here so two v i is equal to a friend delta t minus a for u delta t pull out the delta t a of friend minus a of u is equal to 2vi and now divide both sides by the bracket. So 2vi over af minus ay. So 2 times 20, that's about 40 meters per second divided by 4 meters per second squared minus 2.2 meters per second squared. And when you do this, you get an A, or excuse me, you get a time of 22.2 .2 repeating seconds. Okay, so the question wants to know how far have you each traveled, so now you would go back up here. Delta D of U is equal to 20 meters per second times 22.2 .2 repeating uh, seconds, one half. 2.2 meters per second squared, 22.2 .2 repeating seconds squared, and you find out that you have traveled 987.654, etc. Actually, it's 654321, which is kind of cool if you don't round it all meters. And then you would do the same thing for your friend, one half a friend delta t squared one half four meters per second squared 22.2 .2 repeating second squared and lo and behold you get exactly the same answer six five four three two one meters okay so that's number three and number four i'm not going to have time to do number five on this so I'm going to stop and do it on the next one.